Where, where, where did I put it? Where did I put it? Oh my god. Okay. Hello, Awkward Crowd, and welcome to another episode of Awkward Victoria. For today's episode, I am doing a Q&A. Everybody knows Q&A. You ask me questions, I answer them. So, just to let you know, if you want more Q&A videos, just go ahead and ask me some questions, to which I'm more than happy to see if that question is good enough to put in my next Q&A, and then we can put this Q&A little rumble of train going and stuff like that. Enough rambling. Let's get started. First question, Awkward Victoria. Do you get that tingling feeling when you talk about retro video uh, retro gaming asking for a friend I do I'm assuming you mean joy and excitement when you say tingling feeling uh, but yeah I do actually I get really excited when I talk about any type of video gaming like video games I, I enjoy video games a lot they, they make me happy they're definitely a stress reliever retro video gaming uh, I, I do a lot of collecting I collect I, I have like you know an N64 Super Nintendo original Nintendo I have a GameCube uh, I have a Wii U a Wii I pretty much have all the Nintendo systems. I don't have all the PlayStation systems yet. I'm only missing PlayStation 2 and 3. I have a Dreamcast in the box and I have a lot of other consoles I can think of. Games, I have Chrono Trigger. I have a lot of video games. Very much indeed into rich retro video gaming. I love retro gaming and yes, I do get that exciting tingling feeling when I do talk about it. Very good question. Next question. And like I said, comment down below if you want good questions. I mean, I love, I love good questions like that. That was very good. What is your opinion on medical and recreational cannabis? I am very much for the medical marijuana stuff. I'm very, very highly agree with it. I've heard nothing but great things. It does really good things when it comes to medical. Uh, I've heard like it heals seizures and stuff. It does a really good job. If you have arthritis, apparently it does help with arthritis. A lot of great things about the, the medical marijuana. I, I, I'm for it. I mean, there. Yeah, that, that answers your question question. My opinion is that I am for things that help people that don't really cause like chemo is really harsh and and very bad like it's very harsh to your body and and this medical marijuana is something that's very not as harsh not it's not these pills that you take every day and do a lot of harm to your body it's 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 the healthier approach and I'm glad that it's not the, the bad approach to creating drugs for people and all that jazz. This is very, this is a good thing. Good job, humanity, for coming up with something that's not as harmful. Okay, cat or dog person? <clears throat> <clears throat> I clear my throat because if anybody follows me on Instagram, <laughs> I basically have so many pictures of Asher in my cats. I am very much of a cat person. Dogs, I don't hate dogs. I just like something that can take care of itself and, and clean itself and, and I don't have to walk it every two seconds of the day and if I want to spend the night at a friend's house I feel like my cat, my cat's got my back. It's like, hey man, no, I got you. You don't need to take care of me. Just make sure my food and water bowl is good and you poop scoop my litter box. That is how a cat thinks and if you don't do those things, your cat will get very much upset at you. I'm sure a dog will do that too. But yeah, I, re I very much am a cat person. I've always have been a cat person. I think when I was little, maybe I bet I was a dog person and once I remember but for the most part I've always been a cat person again I like how independent they are and even though people say like oh, sorry, cats are such jerks why would you want a friend a freaking cat they're, they're emotionless they don't care about you they just want you for your food and your comfort of money and though I do not know why Santa Claus is getting on to me about it but let me tell you though yes cats can be jerks I also feel like dogs can be jerks too okay I've met a lot of jerk dogs out there I've been bitten so many times by dogs it's not even funny so for people who are trying to pick on cats forget you okay yeah, I just feel like cats are one of those things where they have tough love okay tough love that's what I am I'm tough love so cats get me and they're spazzy just like I am and they spaz over stupid noises that happen and just like me I get spazzy over stupid noises just cats get me okay just I'm a cat person cat ears sweet vid Victoria if someone made a video about your life which actress would you want Want to play you. Ooh, ooh, that's a good one. Hmm. Need somebody just as spazzy as I am. Need somebody who gets me. What was that lady's name? Everybody loves her. Emma Watson. I feel like Emma Watson against me. I have get, seen so many videos about Emma Watson and her just having awkward moments and her just being, oh, well, you know, that's life. She laughs about it and she's like, ah, guys, I'm so sorry. I'm so awkward. That That's who I would love to play as me. Emma Watson really gets who I am. She's the 
I think she literally, I believe it was her. She was like, I love pizza and all I want to do right now is eat. Yeah, that's that's me. I don't know why. I'm a, food, I'm a fatty in my mind, okay? All I could think about is food all the time. So yes, I would love Emma Watson and maybe Taylor Swift. I've actually seen some interviews from Taylor Swift. She's actually a very content kind of person down the earth, very shy and awkward as well. They get me. They're awkward, like me. They won't even have to like act too much. They just be themselves. If you had a cockroach, what would you name him? I will name him Roberto because I don't know why. That's the first name that came to my head and cockroaches seem to look like Roberto. So that's why I'll name my cockroach Roberto and it'll be on my little shoulder and it'll be telling me stories and I'd probably kill it because honestly, I really hate cockroaches. I, I wouldn't say I have a fear against them. I say I really hate them. Like some people hate spiders. I hate cockroaches. I just, I just despise them. I have saved the cockroach. For the most part, if I see a cockroach, it's dead. For some odd reason, whenever I think of cockroach, I think of Roberto or maybe Pepe. Pepe sounds pretty cool. Got Pepe on my shoulder, rolling the town. I don't know why I'm talking like this. Like southern accent, but kind of gangster-like. Okay, I'm gonna switch the subject. Anyways, that is actually gonna be it for me for today. That is today's Q&A. Sorry to make that a little awkward towards the end, but you know that's okay. I'm Awkward Victoria. I feel like I have the right to be awkward. Please like, comment, and subscribe to my channel, Awkward Victoria, of course. And if you haven't already, go ahead and hit that notification button. That way you are notified whenever I do come out with a video or a live stream for my channel. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and on Facebook. I do have those three. And if you guys want to join the Discord channel, go ahead and join it. The link to the Discord channel will be on my Twitter page. So go ahead and check out that Discord link. One more thing. I do, in fact, have a P.O. box for people who are confused and don't know what a P.O. box is. It's basically like a mailbox, but you send stuff to it. If you guys want to have a fan mail day, you can send... It doesn't even have to be stuff, guys. You don't have to send me stuff. You guys can send me a letter. I don't know, about your feelings or something. I, I don't know what people write in letters. A cool story that you had. Uh, fan mail is great. You know, write me a letter. It doesn't have to be stuff, but if you want to send me stuff, you know, I'm not opposed to it. My P.O. box will be in the description below. Of course, don't forget to ask questions if you want more of these Q&A videos. Anyways, my name is Anker Victoria, and I will see you guys later. Bye!